I can't hear ya! Top man, there's no range in this fucking place! Cina is the gap. I really needed some rain. <laughs> Listen, Mike. I'm stopping in the city five meters from here, so I can try and call you back from a fixed phone line. Jack Stone, 35 years old, four of which spent in Iraq. Medal of the Congress, an expert in high-risk missions, a capable man in every aspect. So tell me, General, what on earth makes you think this capable man will accept a mission like this? In exchange for his freedom, Stone is currently detained in a six by nine foot cell where he's serving a life sentence. What could a man in his position desire more than his freedom? And what's he been charged with? Treason and murder, Mr. Secretary. But I'll spare you the details. A widower with a seven-year-old daughter he hasn't seen since he was detained. 
Still, a capable man with great strategic skills. A natural leader. But as I said, a Mr. Nobody with no one left waiting for him. No one, apart from his daughter. Why do you think he accepted the mission, sir? So you are absolutely sure that Stone will carry out this mission without suspecting anything? Absolutely. I will personally travel to Romania and follow the situation closely. The Romanian government has already been informed. Everything will proceed as planned. Rojnov is nothing more than a small dormitory town with the power plant workers and their families in the middle of nowhere. The explosion will erase any trace of the laboratory in the building. But how can we be sure that Stone can carry out this mission on his own? Well, that's simple. Because he won't be on his own. John Mad Dog McKellen, AKA the specialist, expert in explosives and firearms. He could build a lethal weapon just with a, a glass and a pencil sharpener. To Mr. McKellen, we owe the explosion of the Congress Palace of Johannesburg in 1997. More than 50 people died in the bombing. Dragon Illich, a sniper. They say during the Kosovo War, Mr. Illich killed more than 300 people without ever leaving his position, ever. He could shoot a mouse dead from over a mile away. Eden Shizuka. Unbeatable in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now she will be indispensable should our men find themselves in a difficult situation and low on ammo. She learned how to fight from some scatterbrained mark in Japan where she'd moved from Northern Ireland with her mother, but that's not important. So I guess you're gonna tell me that they'll have a daughter waiting for them at home. No. I will tell you. They will each have two million dollars waiting in their bank accounts. They are soldiers of fortune, Mr. Secretary. Mercenaries. They would do anything for money. So the money we offer them will help keeping their mouths shut. At least until they have left for the mission. How can we be sure that there will be no survivors? There could be a family somewhere, hidden away, waiting to be rescued. With all due respect, sir, I would be more worried should someone divulge what we did to that city. Theoretically, we should not have been active in that part of Europe. I urge you to bear in mind we are very short on time. We would not be able to sustain a possible virus propagation. Those monsters could eventually find a way to escape the security perimeter. And we don't have a cure. Not since our dear Doc Newman passed away. And there's no trace of his daughter. Oh yes, we, we did search for her, but well, the situation was already critical. But should we find that she is still alive, then we will bring her in. You can be sure of that. Now is the time to act. The groundwater tables have been sealed, and the toxicity of the cloud has vanished. Rojnov has now been quarantined. But those things are infected. One would be enough to infect the whole country in a matter of hours. And in a few days, the world. May God forgive us all. Just like chickens. Uh-huh. 
While Ranvin just around the corner, someone is about to blow up a nuclear power plant to exterminate a horde of whatever them things are. Infected like a bunch of rabbit dogs. Do you know what, Dragon? Huh? This is turning out not to be a picnic in the park. You're getting soft, my friend. Remember Laos? It's never gonna be worse than that. Aye, I remember. But every time we seem to get ourselves in bigger shit. C'est la vie, mon ami. Just think about big bucks. They should set up your mind at ease. Aye, I think about it. But you know what? This is my last gig. Let's just blow up these shitheads. Level this place. And I can get my ass in a first class seat all the way to the Maldives. I'm gonna open a restaurant on the beach. You. I cannot picture you wearing a Bermudas and flowery Hawaiian shirt. But you do like my haggis and nukes, don't you? Hell no. The only thing your slop it's good is for maneuvering the fields. Seriously, I'm no longer subject for your exotic culinary experiments. They always ended up in a hurricane of shit. Do you know what? The trouble is with a skinny ass like you, is you don't like eating. I'm so sorry to spoil your self gratification, but I love eating. As much as I care what happens after. I don't like when your cooking gets from my mouth to my guts. It's some nasty shit, believe me, you don't want to know. You're right. You're full of shit. <laughs> Do you know there's a saying? No. If you don't like eating, then you probably don't like fucking either. <laughs> Your mother never complained. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it was something like, uh, if you can cook, you can fuck. Oh, my friend. I can cook. Yep. And I can lick my own balls. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Princess? Do you like cooking? I'd love to see you in the kitchen, jumping from pot to pan, with nothing on but a genie weenie apron. Save a bullet, will you? Give up, my friend. Women are never very talkative with people like us. Deep down, they know we can show them paradise beneath the sheets. And they feel it in their guts. Give up? Me? Are you kidding? Right? How do you say, Princess? How about you and me get something on together? Between the sheets. Oh! this guy. Good flight, Lieutenant. Let's not waste any more time. We we'll let you in from here. You'll be escorted up to the security containment perimeter. Once inside, you're on your own. Mm hmm That's the way I like it. <laughs> the bomb will be primed by our engineers. You will need to get as close as possible to the reactor and get there as quickly as you can. 
Why don't we go in through there? It looks a damn sight easier to me. It's too risky. That's the most populated area. Hence the more likely to be polluted with the mm. infected. It gets better and better. <laughs> Obviously the area you'll pass through should be considered safer, but not safe. So watch your backs. Be on alert at all times. You will take this side street, which leads directly to the nuclear power plant. Should everything go as planned once the bomb is placed, you'll have about an hour to get back to this base. One hour? Bloody hell. And what happens if you're late? The school bus will come and collect us. Here, you will find a helicopter waiting to take you to a safe military depot. There you will be held until the dust from the explosion has settled. Only at that point will the mission be classed as accomplished. In answer to your question, Mr. Elich, if you are late, you die. Considering the sum we're paying you, a delay cannot be accepted. Ah, talking about money. As we agreed, one million now. The rest, once the mission is accomplished. Any questions? Very well. Mr. Stone, if you please. I hope at least you care about this mission, Lieutenant. Should the virus propagate, it would be the end. You must move quickly, place the bomb, and get out. It must be made to look like a terrible accident. The power plant explodes. The Rojnov inhabitants die. Their country mourns their loss, and the United States share in their sorrow. Nobody will know any different. This is your mission. I'm sure you fully comprehend the situation. I'm not here to comprehend anything, General. I'm here for my daughter. Of course. You have my word. You will hug your daughter once the mission is accomplished. The case will be closed, all files will be lost. You'll have a new beginning, Jack. But don't try to pull any smart moves. We will be watching your every step via satellite. Accomplish the mission, and you'll be a free man. Doesn't it look good? What did you expect? Balloons and bouquets? Abandon all hope. You enters here. I still don't understand what I'm supposed to be shooting. Are the people or what? Oh, come on, dragon. Does it make a difference anyway? <laughs> don't tell me you 
developed a conscience since we last worked together. Just trying to make conversation, considering our chief and this one here. Talking is going to be the hardest part of the mission. You're talking for everyone, Dragon. Say that again? If everything goes according to plan, we won't have to shoot anybody. We go in, we drop the bomb, we get out. We forget about this place. What a bummer. Hey, Dragon. I bet you were looking forward to blowing the heads off some poor, innocent women and children. Like you guys do in that shitty country of yours. Right? Why don't you go and fuck yourself in a biking helmet? <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you here, Chief? No offense. It didn't look like one of us. You look more like one of those Mr. Nice Guys that helps little old ladies across the street. The only difference is you got muscle. It has nothing to do with money, if that's what you're asking, soldier. Come on, man. We're all in this shit together. The least you can do is tell us what brought you into this fucking mess. I was promised a clear criminal record. I bring home the mission. They cancel my conviction. Conviction for what? Stealing a candy? Leave him alone, Dragon. Come on, Chief. What did you do? Everything is allowed in war. Well, almost. Let's share some secrets, huh? Wanna know what was the worst thing I did during a mission? Will you shut your big mouth? All right. There we go. I jerk off on a goat. Jesus fucking Christ, dragon. Do not swear. something wrong. You can hear a pin drop. McKellen, open the gate. And you two stay on board. Hey, what the hell he's doing? The first lesson of the perfect bomber always save the explosion to the very last. Come on, man, where is the fun? <laughs> Did you cut the bullshit? We're sitting on a prime nuclear weapon. It's best we get going then. United States. I'm on my farm here in Texas. 
and instead of playing golf or whatever, fucking some hookers, uh, I sing about you, and not in a good way. I hope everything is okay. Yes, Mr. President. Everything's going as planned. Any press around, whatever. I don't want another CNN feature about me. And Carter, don't fuck it up again, as in Korea, in Vietnam, almost in the Second World War. You remember your father almost lost the whole war. No, sir. There won't be any problems, I assure you. Everything will go as planned. Okay, go back to your work. Just forget it. And maybe I just push the red button and blow it all up. Bye. Dragon, pick a position and keep your eye on everything. Don't shoot unless absolutely necessary, and please, don't fuck it up. No worry, Chief. It's what I do for a living. And what might that be? Fucking things up. <laughs> McKellen, you take care of the bomb. You and I will patrol the area to make sure there's no surprises. Come on, let's get out of here ASAP. Just give me five more minutes, Chief. And we'll be strolling away from this shit house. Happy as a pig in shit. And rich. And filthy rich. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Shit! Shit! Chief! John! I don't believe it. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Do you want to tell me what the fuck's going on? We're screwed. We are royally screwed. That's what's going on. Take a look at this. Jesus. Can't you do anything about this? Not only is it welded to the chassis, but the primer is deep inside the engine. And that's linked direct into the timer. Any interference by me, and I could slow, if not stop, the program. Even to look at this thing could cause a problem. Hey, what are you waiting? Eden, check the area. John, if we can't use this car, then we need to find a vehicle in order to get out of here. Let's check these warehouses and see what we can find. Let's get back to Carter to show him in full detail with whom he just tried to fuck. General, they're in. Do they have the situation under control? Not exactly, sir. Look. Sir, I think we should send a message. Don't waste your energy thinking, Private. This mission is a success. Those monsters will just make things easier. Pack everything up. We're leaving. Yes, sir. Stone, McKellen, Twenty incoming, three o'clock.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady, Chief. There are more of them coming. How much ammo you got? I got about 12 cartridges for this piece of shit. It's better than nothing. Drag it! Drag it! Move it! We're out of here! Oh, shit, Jack. Look! What are you looking at? Come on. I thought I was gonna put a bullet in my head. I'll do it myself. I don't want to ruin the chances of meeting. My lord. Don't make me back. Do it now. Die in that city, Chief. And we both know it. We have to get a vehicle. It's the only chance we've got to get back to the military base and get the hell out of here before the shit really hits the fan. Granted, that is if we have a working helicopter when we get there. I seriously doubt Carter hasn't thought about every single possible escape route. I... And I swear if I come across the son of a bitch, he's gonna have a close and deep encounter with my knife. Sir, you should see this. You're a dreamer, Stone. Sir? What is it, Private? We just received a call from the runway. There's a technical problem with the blades of our helicopter. The mechanic has already left the base. Damned idiots! Sir, I alerted the pilot, and he's already working on it. He says he can fix it. He just needs a little time. Time? That's exactly what we don't have, you stupid fool. Do you want us to end up like those things out there? No, sir, but I thought- Then save your excuses and get the helicopter fixed, unless you want to face a court martial. Yes, sir. It's 
a wee bit classy. But I think it'll do. At the course. Providing the owner's all right with it. Well, if that guy's the owner, I think he'll be just fine about it. Son of a... <laughs> Princess, you do talk. The wise only speak when it's time to speak. The fool never shuts his goddamn sewage hole. Oh, fuck you. Do you know what? My lips get a little bit loose. Especially when I'm nervous. You must have a very bad case of chronic nervousness. All right, kids, shut up and get in. We're running out of time. I'll drive. If we just get out of the city, we might just have a chance. And how many of those ugly bastards do you think they're out there just waiting for us? There's a lot more of those than we have ammo for, John. I like your optimism, Chief. Well, they don't call me Mr. Fucking Sunshine for nothing. These don't need ammo. See? No problem. Jesus, Chief. This is getting serious. Hey, Scotty. Gift for you. And what am I supposed to do with this? as I've ever seen. It's no wonder this government wants to blow this shithole up. Going any further without weapons or ammo is suicide. Another run-in with a bunch of those wild creatures and we're gonna be joining their fucked up family. And where are we gonna find any ammo around here? I've got a funny feeling, Chief. The local gun store, if there ever was one, it's not gonna be open today. Bingo. Thank you, Chief. Which way are you driving? Took a smile off his face. That's definitely not a rat. We've got you covered, Chief. Go get the ammo. I'll 
Open the cell, and I'll tell you. I'm not going to ask you twice. Then we're in a stall, don't you think? I'm not saying anything unless you free me first. Listen, lady. In just a little while, this place is going to be like the 4th of July, and that cell is going to be the last place you want to be. So for the last time, who are you? You know what? Fuck you. You men are always all in now, aren't you? My name is Samantha Newman. Doc Newman's daughter? Although I doubt you even know who I'm talking about. Dr. Herbert Newman. Toxicologist, immunologist. Surgeon leader for Project K for the US Army. Another brilliant mind in the bacteriological warfare. My father is not a murderer. Really? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, are you letting me out or not? Hey. Hey, where are you going? Asshole! Not. A thank you would be nice. Thank you, Daddy. Now, if you'd be so kind as to introduce yourself and telling me what the hell is going on here. Whoa! <laughs> nice catch, Chief. Hello? Is anybody going to bother explaining to me what's up? It's a pretty straightforward, fucked up situation, babe. Either we get ourselves 300 miles away from here, we're all gonna look like those people from Hiroshima. No offense. We'll explain it to you later. Right now, there's no time. Let's move. Not a good idea, Chief. Call a secretary, now. Yes, sir, right away, sir. We're running out of time, Chief. You're right. Let's get busy. Can you shoot? I'm a fast learner. What? Come on. Oh, fuck. This is my favorite gun. Let's go. Come on, Princess. Okay. Pay attention. Check the mag, make sure you're loaded, Look it back into place. Check the barrel, you've got one loaded, safety's off, point, you're ready to fire. Don't hit the convertible. I'll be careful. Why were you in there? A brawl. In a bar. You. 
in a brawl. That's so funny. No, I just can't see you in a brawl or a bar. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. I'm Jack Stone. You're wounded. Hang on. Look at this. Jack. A regular name for a regular guy. You sure don't look like a regular guy, though. You don't look like a regular girl. I'll take that as a compliment. Would you mind telling me what's going on, Jack? Sure. The government wants to nuke this whole place. So we brought in an atomic bomb, put it in the nuclear power plant, and it's going to go off in about 30 minutes. You what? It's the only way they could be sure that the virus wouldn't propagate. It's not a virus. Coming in? It's not a virus. It's a cytotoxic toxin secreted by a microbiotic organism, synthesized in a lab. My dad is the leader of the operation. His studies in immunology had drawn the attention of the army, who has funded his research with millions of dollars. Problem is, my father wanted to save lives while they just wanted to destroy them. Anything to report, Doctor? I'm afraid nothing good, General. We succeeded in controlling the toxin, but the specimens are showing an uncontrollable aggressiveness. We're experiencing an irreparable side effect. The toxin somehow acts on the cerebral tissues, destroying any ability of the specimen to keep control over its own aggression. It basically acts on the nervous connectors, enhancing ferocity at an exponential level. Try putting a sterile rat into this cage, and in a matter of seconds, nothing will be left of it. These other animals are afraid of this infected specimen, so I must keep it covered. Not to mention the post-mortem physical degeneration. Explain, Doctor. Well, the toxin kills every organism at a time. And at our current stage of research, our experimental specimens are nothing more than walking dead bodies. Very good, Doctor. Very good indeed. Did you not hear what I just said, General? Of course I did. But people die in wars. Or did you forget that? Thanks to your discoveries, Doctor, we can now say we're working ahead of schedule. And this way we can avoid the boring procedure of notifying the families of the deceased, am I right? I'm impressed by your work, Doctor. You most certainly are, our man. But now the time has come to take your research to the next level. Soldiers! What the hell do you think you're doing, Carter? The infection rate is extremely high. And don't forget, we haven't succeeded in controlling the cytotoxin's reaction to oxygen yet. Do you have any idea what would happen if the substance comes into contact with the air? the slightest inattention, and the infection would spread. Are you out of your mind? Watch your tongue, Doctor. Surely you didn't believe the millions our government invested into your research were unsecure, did you? We want results, Newman. And you seem ready to give us some. Now, proceed. Doctor, God didn't create any of this. 
You did. What are you going to do? I don't know, Sam. I, I just don't know. All I know is that I must put an end to this madness. I cannot allow that man to use my research the way he wants to. I just can't. Yeah, but how, Dad? It's dangerous. Listen, Sam. Get on the first plane out of here. Just leave the country. Go back to the States. To your mom's. Just... But, Dad... You don't understand, Sam. It's my fault. Look, it's my fault. And I'm the only one that can do something about it. I have to do something about it. I need you to get as far away from here as possible. It's not safe here anymore. That madman is liable to do anything. Just leave, please. And don't try and contact me for any reason. I'd stay in touch. Okay. Okay. I know I can't say anything to make you change your mind. Just promise me you'll be careful. I promise. My father tried to stop the research at any cost, but it was already too late. He had created what they wanted, a deadly weapon. So he secretly synthesized a vaccine, certain that sooner or later, it would have been indispensable. So it's thanks to your father that that bite mark didn't turn you into one of those things. He injected me with a vaccine when he realized how dangerous what he was doing was. I know. He's got a solution for what's happening here, too. My father can stop all this. He's probably working at it this very moment. Sam. Believe me, Jack. He can stop it all. Sam. Your father's dead. He killed himself. It was in the file General Carter gave me. Freeze! Drop the gun! You don't understand. I have to do this. probably couldn't accept the responsibility for what he caused. I'm sorry. Chief, I've got a good idea. What's the plan? You know what a pile of shite looks like with flies around it? <laughs> I'm going to create a big pile of shite. You're going to have to trust me on this one. The aspirin, Chief. I think they're gonna need it. Sam, are you all right? I think so. You did good back there. We're gonna make it, you'll see. Are you wounded? No, I'm okay. It's just a scratch. If you don't mind me uh, interrupting you two lovebirds, I think we've got a wee problem.
What do you think? Aye. Uh, of course I can do it. But you need to give me some time. John, time is one thing we do not have. Two minutes. That's all I need is two minutes. What brought you here? It's a long story. And I bet you don't have time to tell me, right? I don't think you want to know why I'm here. If I didn't want to know, I wouldn't have asked. It's about her. It's all for her. You saved my life. I'm good with it. Down, Chief. I'm getting old. Stop for gas soon, we're gonna run out and we'll be on foot. Jack, there! Ah, uh, so easy. Sam, get out and fill up the tank. John, help me push. So who the fuck are y'all? I said, who the fuck are y'all? You got a problem? It's nothing I can't fix. Oh, John, whoa, 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 don't play with him. Come on, it's okay. I'm Jack Stone. This is Eden. 
This is Sam. This irresistible bastard is Mad Dog. What about you? You don't exactly look like a Romanian factory worker to me. Doug. Doug Mulligan. Entrepreneur. Shit. We was on vacation. The those freaks turned up. Hell, we was having a good time too, weren't we, Sugar Pie? This here's Claire, by the way, and the dog's Indiana. She don't talk a whole bunch. But believe me, she got many fine hidden qualities. I won't take it personally, big fella. She's been the silent type since her psycho brother killed her entire family with a hammer. Ma, pa, little brother. Yeah, some pretty bad shit, and she's a brave girl. Well, I want to thank you again for what you did outside. I appreciate that. But secondly, and most importantly, we've got to get out of here. Hmm. Now, what's your van situation like? Oh, shoot, the tank's as empty as your friend's skull here. I was hoping to fill her up. And those freaks turned up again. I know if we wait it out and stay real hushed, are they going to fuck off? They don't seem too bright. That's not an option. I wasn't joking when I said we have to get out of here soon. An atomic fucking bomb? Here? You're shitting me, right? So what the fuck are we going to do now? And General Carter's plans include our deaths, so here we are. I'm sorry we got you and Claire involved in this, Doug. Shit. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a nice, relaxing trip. But no, those government donkey fuckers always got a mess with an honest man's peace of mind. Shit. If we're going to die together, we may as well die with no hard feelings. Drink up, my friend. The Amber Nectar. I don't have any hard feelings. Friend. What now? I don't know. I really don't know. I guess I'm never going to open that restaurant. Sorry, Dragon. At least we die with honor. You guys being serious? No. No, we can't give up. Not while that timer is still counting down. If we die here, Carter will have it all his own way. And nobody, no one, will ever know the truth. The airport is close. We still have enough time to get to it. We have to get to it. The world needs to know what happened here. Please. Please. She's right. Fuck, I don't even know who this Carter guy is, but if this fucked up shit is down to him, then I certainly want to give him a very large piece of my mind. Fuck, I hate uniforms. They're all fucked in the head. No offense, fellas. But you gotta put yourself in my shoes, okay? I, I nearly died today. Hmm? Running on the railroad, running on the railroad, running on the railroad now. Woo-hoo! Honey Pie, you still pointing that thing at me? My God, the, the way you're carrying on, the, the only memory you're going to have of this entire trip is going to be my ugly mug. <laughs> yeah, well, at least it looks like this goddamn rain is finally quitting. Ah. You, you should point this thing out, get some of this amazing foreign scenery. Because you know, you know, I, I think we are very close now, you know? I think we're almost there. Are you ready? I said, are you ready to meet the one, the only, Count Dracula? <laughs> oh, what is this now? Shit. Stay in the van, honey pie. You hear me, sweetheart? Go 
Okay. To thin down their number if we're gonna get out of here alive. Doug, how many bullets do you have left? Just two, I'm afraid. Maybe we could draw their attention like we did back at the police station. How? <laughs> Holy shit! I gotta get a clear shot! Fuck you! Oh my god, sweet let's no! no. Fuck you! Honey, <laughs> no. Jesus Christ, put the gun down, darling, please. Please, sweetheart, put the gun down. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll get you to a doctor, I swear. You'll be fine, sweetheart, please. No! Sweetie pie, no! Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Please. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh. If you've got any good ideas left oh. in that brain of yours, Chief, oh. now's the time to come up with it. Without gassing up the truck, we're not going anywhere. Maybe we can find a vehicle around here to get out of here with. God, so maybe. I... Just maybe. I love you. We've still got a chance. I you so much, We have in mind. You're gonna have to trust me on this one, Chief. What? Princess, what how far to the airport? Five miles at the most. I'm gonna try and buy you as much time as possible. Godspeed, my friend. John. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> my dog. I'll be fine. How are we gonna know when to get out? You'll know. Oh. My friend, you'll know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no! And what are you doing here, Princess? Time to get serious, John. Serious? Don't you think your timing's a little bit off? I think we should go. Before I get other ideas. Then we'll call it a fucking deserves. Come on, Doug. Get it together, get it together. Fuck. Come on, you motherfuckers! Come on! Jack, just go! Go! Cut your friend the general's eyelids off. Staple this here photo to his forehead. Well, I got him like a boar. Get him. Oh, dragon. I 
think I'm going to need you on this one. What is it, Private? They start just outside the city's perimeter. Orders, sir. Tell the special forces to be ready. I want the girl. Kill the others. Is the helicopter ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. We're running out of time. Yes, sir. shots you have left. Still just the two, Jack. God, I tried to get them to breed, but you know, they just ain't in the mood. Damn. You have more in common with John than just a shitty attitude. What's the plan? I say we get out there, we kill Carter. Let's go. Well, well. I'm impressed. I've got to give you credit, Stone. I underestimated you. It's a pity. I could have used a man like you. <laughs> and who's this hero? Put the toy down. Put it down, Doug. It's all right, girl. He gonna get his. You let her go. Or I will kill you. You're in no position to be giving orders. We placed the bomb. My mission is accomplished. Give me back my daughter and let us go. What more do you want from us? Her. What? You're much more precious than you think you are, Miss Newman. You hold within yourself the secret of your father's great work. I don't understand. Your blood. From that, we will synthesize your father's vaccine. And Project K can continue without any more unfortunate accidents. <laughs> Isn't it a pity there's no room for your new friends in our helicopter? I think we can allow the little family reunion. Christina, in exchange for Miss Newman. After all, we're not monsters. Miss Newman. Jack. Well, 
I think it's time we were leaving, gentlemen. We gotta go. I told you I hate uniforms. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Okay. okay, honey, you go with Doug and run to the chopper. I'm gonna go look for Sam. got what he wanted. How'd you mean? General's dead. Ain't shit left of him. Or the evidence. Oh, come on, Doug. Who's gonna believe our story? I wouldn't be so sure of that, little miss. That sure as hell like to see him deny this. You know, my old man always used to say, men don't learn shit from their mistakes. Anything that happened once, bound to happen again sooner or later. Well, Doug, I don't know if a few men can make a difference. But sometimes it could be enough to just kick the right ass at the right time.
Come on, ladies. You ain't saying nothing yet. <laughs> 